Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Robbie the Painter. I'm Robbie. I know it's been a while. I'm so glad that you're here and you decided to stop by and spend your time with me. Before we get started, I've had some uh, new subscribers and I just want to give a, a, a quick shout out to a few of uh, my new subscribers. Uh, RF Richardson, uh, Leon De Silva, Doreen Hopp, uh, Aisha Coley, Patricia Craig, uh, Sky River, Artist Dream, um, Mary Coniotti, Ned Cramden, just to name a few. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, one of the names, uh, R.F. Richardson, uh, Raymond, sent me some pictures of some of his paintings. And I'm going to run those right here. Look at that. Those are cool. Very good stuff. Very good. Thank you for sending those, uh, Raymond. Uh, any of you guys, uh, email me some pictures. Uh, my email's on there uh, on the channel. Feel free to send me. I'll try to get some of those up and, and show the viewers what you guys are doing while I'm doing what I'm doing. And with that in mind, let's get started. I have an 18 by 24 uh, pre-stretched canvas. It's got the liquid white uh, already on it. And we are ready to go. I'm going to grab my paint palette. Got my colors right here. And I'll run those over here on the side. So you know what we're doing. Let's, uh, let's grab, oh, let's grab our two inch brush. Let's come into some Prussian blue. Hopefully this is going to be a fun painting today. I'm, I'm so glad you guys are here. You, you could be anywhere. Thanks for coming back and, and, uh, and sticking with me. Let's come up here to the top. It's going to start dark. Our sky is what we're putting in right now. And we're gonna start dark at the top and get lighter as we go down. And because we have the liquid white already on the canvas, it automatically happens. Putting, uh, putting liquid white on the canvas is a technique that, uh, you know, the great Bob Ross and, and uh, some other people used to allow your paints to blend. Um, when you're, you know, when you're adding paints, it, it helps everything blend instead of putting your paints onto a dry canvas. But I am going to do some future episodes coming up here pretty soon where we're going to use just a dry canvas. And uh, I'll show you to, how to apply paints to a dry canvas. Well, it, it'll be completely different than what we normally do. I like different sometimes, you know. Sometimes we just get outside of our comfort zone and our box. We need to do that. Oh, I'm seeing that. All right. Come down here. Maybe grab a little more Prussian blue. And darken up the top. A little more. I think I'm just gonna run a line across the top here. Really want this top, I want that transition from from dark to light to be evident here. And I'm doing a little, you know, I guess X strokes here with the brush, but you can do, you can apply the paint any way you want. Um, you know, we could do little circles. It's going to create little, little dark areas. And sometimes that's what we want. I wasn't really going to do that on this painting. I want kind of just a straight dark to light transition from top to bottom. That's kind of what I was going for in this one here. And I found 
found some free pictures online. Um, I have a reference photo um, behind me, or in front of me actually, uh, on the computer, and I'm gonna loosely follow that reference photo. I think it's gonna be fun. I'm not gonna tell you what we're, well, if you, I guess if you clicked on this episode, you already have seen what it's gonna look like and what the subject matter is. All right, down to about there, I think. Coming quite a bit farther down with our sky than we normally do. And I may not, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna put some hills and stuff like that in here and they, they're probably gonna come above this, but I wanna make sure I come down far enough. And let's see. Let's go into, let's put this two inch brush down for a second and we'll wash that in a minute. Remember that we wash our, our uh, brushes in odorless mineral spirits or paint thinner. You wanna make sure it's odorless. As I look at this, I wanna add a little more Prussian blue. Remember I always, I always say stand back and, and look at what you're doing if, uh, you know, if you have an idea in your mind of what you want your painting to look like, in this case, the sky, and it's not dark enough, which I think this needs to be darker at the top, then stand back, look at it, and, and uh, do what you need to do. So here's a good thing to point out. I started buying these 18 by 24 canvases, um, and they've got a center uh, support piece made out of wood, you know, so it's a, a uh, wooden frame and then they have a center piece in here. And as I'm going over it, it's starting to show that and I don't want that. So we are going to make that, we're going to try to make that disappear. If I go right at it, darken this up even more. Try to get rid of that center post. And still achieve what we're, what I'm trying to do here on this. shaking. Okay. Let's see what we've got now. A little bit better. A little bit better. I think if this is dark here. that disappear. Some of this is getting covered with clouds. I, I probably shouldn't spend too much time on this. Some of this is getting covered with clouds. Just keep working your sky until it looks like you want it to look. I may rethink buying these, uh, these canvases might be an issue. Something we learn every day. Okay, you guys still with me? All right, let's, let's set that down. Let's grab our fan brush. Let's come into, uh, let's bring some white over here and just a touch of black, midnight black. I'll make a little gray, little gray color. And we're gonna come 
come up here to the canvas and just here and there touch some spots little I'm making little shapes right now if you'll notice not big shapes but little shapes using this gray color and starting to get a little blue in it. That's all right. We'll clean our brush if we need to. Grab a little more gray, stand back and look. A little white, a little black. More black. And I'm just making random squiggly motions here with my paintbrush. What we're doing is putting a, the shadow side of the cloud in. little bit of shadow. Here and there, just touching, adding a little bit of this dark. Okay, with a dry two-inch brush, let's just give this very light, very light blend. No pressure. A little hair, no pressure. Very light. Okay. Stand back. All right. Let's clean off. You know what? I'll set that in the paint there. Let's grab a little bit bigger fan brush because I think I'm going to need this. We're going into straight titanium white. And we're going to come. So we put this black and this, uh, this gray mix on here. We're gonna come above that and just tap some, some white on the top of that. Into the titanium white, I just switched fan brushes. This one's a little softer, a little smaller too. Um, Just adding in a little bit of white. I'll wipe that off. As you pick up some of the blue and the black and the gray, just give it a quick wipe. Go back into your titanium white. We've done clouds all kinds of different ways. Uh, on the channel here. This is another way. We're trying something different. Don't think I've ever done clouds quite like this. So we're trying something. Just touching, adding a little bit of white to our sky. These down here, a little smaller. Just a little tiny bit. white. And this one up here, I'm going to swirl this white around at the top above the gray and the black.
definitely different the way I'm applying this than we've done before. We'll see if it works. You know, what if it doesn't? It'll be all right. Everything's fixable. Everything's fixable. Okay, let's take our two inch brush, give that a quick wipe. The one we use to kind of blend this, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just lift up a little bit, very lightly. Lift up through these clouds, through this white part we just put on. Okay, and then flip it over very lightly, come back across. Very lightly, just a whisper. There. Stand back. Okay, let's clean off our fan brush. Go back into some titanium white. We're gonna add a little bit just to the very top of this cloud here. Wipe off our brush, get a little of that blue. Just adding in more white. Want this to have a little more of the the white cloud look at the top here. I'm just adding in some squiggly stuff here. All right, wipe off our two inch brush. Lift up. Flip it over, come back through. Very lightly. Well, that's definitely a different looking sky. And what we can do is blend some of this white down in with the gray. Mix that just a little bit. Come back across. Not bad, not bad, it's different. Definitely a different sky. A lot of clouds going on up there. I think I think we're gonna add one more over here. As I'm looking at it, I'm just going into some midnight black. Wipe that brush off. Maybe even give it a rinse. Wipe it off. Come into our titanium white. A 
the swirling. Okay. Get that a lift lightly. Wipe that off. Flip it over to the other side. Very lightly come across. like that okay we've got a sky let's move on I'm liking what's going on but as I look at it I'm seeing I want to add a little more and uh, so we're gonna spend a little more time than I usually do on the sky I know we should have knocked this out really quick but bear with me I'm I'm thinking we need need a little more over here just kind of goes off the canvas. I want a sky full of clouds. I think that's what I think that's what it is. I think I just want a sky full of clouds. I'm just dabbing this white on here. Okay, while we've got the white going, I'm gonna lighten up this horizon line right here. I'm just gonna add a little more white. Just adding paint right now, and then we'll take the two inch brush and kind of blend this and lighten up the horizon line. Okay. All right, let's grab our two inch brush. Give it a wipe, make sure it's, it's clean and dry. Let's lift up here very lightly. And make sure it's dry again, flip it over and lightly across. And then down here where I added that white, just gonna a little more pressure and I'm dragging that through and blending it. Okay. Yeah, makes that horizon line just a little bit lighter. Let's grab one of our fan brushes and let's come into a little yellow ochre. And I reach over here and grab a little titanium white. And it's got some blue mixed in with it. Yeah. Just gonna... Come over here and... Little distant hill shapes. Maybe grab one of the, the filberts. Let's try that. Either that or a stiffer uh, fan brush. I need, need a paintbrush that's got a little more oomph to it. That, that fan brush was bending a little too much. Just adding in little shape, little color. All right, what we're doing is making a little some distant hills, just the indication. And just by putting a little tiny bit of this yellow ochre back here, 
it's not defined, but as you look at it, it gives the illusion that there's, the hills kind of go back a little farther. And I think that's what we're looking for in this painting. We're gonna give some depth, a little bit of, uh, little bit of that depth where it looks like it goes back for a while, for a, quite a ways. Let's come into some sap green. Let's bring some sap green out here into the middle and grab some titanium white. It's got a little of that blue, still have, this is my dirty uh, filbert brush, small flat brush. I don't know if you call this a filbert or not. It's, more of a small flat brush, um, but let's see. I want to. I'm gonna make another hill. So this one's gonna start down here and come up. Maybe a little touch of uh, midnight black. Here at the top. Okay. One more green. I think I want this to kind of, this hill is going to go from one side to the other. That's what we're going to do. Big arching shape. Maybe back here, this goes off. We'll just touch and add just a little bit of greenery back here. Something way off. Come up into a little midnight black. Let's come up. Just define this edge just a little bit. Maybe it comes up just a little more. I keep standing back. If you're not sure, what you're doing when you're up close here, stand back and see if you like what you're doing. Now, I'm gonna go back into this green color that I mixed up and we're gonna come up here and start adding a little bit of that. And I'm still using this little tiny flat brush. We're just adding some different colors different colors to our hill. Might switch to a bigger brush here in a second. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab, where's my big fan brush? All right, this is one of the Bob Ross fan brushes. This is a big one. Uh, I think it's a 12. Uh, yep, number 12. Okay. Let's, uh, let's grab a little midnight black, a little bit of sap green. I'm going to mix up a new color over here. I'm going to leave this light one that we mixed right here. Let's grab a little midnight black. Let's just do a, a new pile here. Just a little darker green. Let's see what this looks like. Night black, maybe back here. It's the indication of 
a little, little bit of trees back here. They're too far away for any definition, but they're back here. Let's stand back. All right, Let's smooth some of this out. Something back there behind that. Maybe a little tree right there. A little row of something. All right. Not bad. I'm liking it. Cool stuff happening here. All right, let's, uh, without washing the brush, let's grab a little of this yellow ochre and let's just change up the color here and there. Add a little of that in. Add a little yellow ochre. Maybe right in here. And, uh, all right. I'm going to grab a little titanium white and bring that over by the yellow ochre little bit of cadmium yellow. Little cad yellow. A little more of the yellow ochre. Kind of a goldish color we're mixing up here. I don't know if this is exactly where I, what I'm looking for, but we'll see. We're gonna come across detail and then bring that across right here. I'm just scrubbing it into the canvas. Adding a little and maybe that goes off back here. We're just doing layers of, of color. So we've got some different greens going on here. We've got a couple of distant uh, tree lines and stuff like that. Um, and then we added a little yellow ochre and changed up the color a little bit. I'm liking that. I'm thinking, let's go into midnight black and let's create a little transition here Oh no. Oh, Robbie, you messed it up now. What have you done? You've messed that up. Well, let's see if we can fix it. adding in some little detail stuff with this black I'm smooshing it up and nice and light back and forth I may or may not remove that I don't know I'm still trying to decide if I if I like uh, the direction it's going but we're gonna change up and add something else to this and then I'm gonna come back to that part We'll, we'll see if I make that work uh, or uh, because I'm kind of, I've got that reference photo 
but I'm kind of going on my own now. Uh, I've, I've, I've gone off the rails. <laughs> so kind of doing my own thing. But let's add another, another little element to this. Um, I'm going to grab, uh, I think we're gonna wash off that little flat brush. I think I wanna try using this, something a little smaller. Let's dry that off. It's fun, huh? A little scary, fun, yeah. But mostly fun. Mostly fun. Okay. I wanna I wanna put something back here. Let's grab a little of this bright red and a little bit of white. Bring that over here. Maybe a little black and a lot more white. Okay. I want to tone this red down a little bit. And I'm losing the red that I wanted. Okay. Let's keep mixing this until I get the color. Guess I'm gonna start with a darker red. I'm gonna leave this, this lighter red alone for a second. We're gonna go into the dark and Let's see here. Uh, let's put let's just put the shape. that in with the red. Fill that in. And we're going to say this side's closer to us, might be a little bit bigger without getting too much into perspective and, and giving you, you know, big lesson on I want to keep the drawing out of it as much as possible we're just doing kind of a peak here and then it goes out on each side and then I'm gonna wipe that off wipe the red off let's go into straight midnight black and let's see if we can oh well, you know what brush is not going to work. We need something a little finer than that. Let's grab our liner brush. Midnight black liner brush. And we're going to come across here. Roughly mimic the, the shape of this edge. You might need a little, little bit of your drawing skills to come out on this. And now I'm just kind of filling it in. Too bad. We got the idea and the shape. All right. I'm not going to wash my liner brush. I'm going to leave the black on there and grab some of this red. And it's going to make the red just a little darker. So we've got a different tone of red. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. Now let's grab this lighter red that we mixed up. And let's just, uh, let's see. Um, very loosely, we're going to put some some different shades on the front of this house barn using this lighter red pinkish color that we mixed up. Maybe every now and then grab just straight titanium white. Every now and then, straight red. Let's see, where's our sun coming from? So I'm just taking the red and pulling it to the right. Make a little horizontal. motions with brush. Horizontal strokes with brush. Kind of straight across. Leaving the right hand side of this barn or house or farmhouse. A little on the lighter side. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off. Go into straight titanium white. Kind of where the roof meets the house, just drawing a, a white line here. Now, back into some white. Just adding some highlights on one side of this barn or house where we think the sun might be, you know, shining on it, making it a little lighter. Okay. Let's add a little detail to this. And... Uh, Titanium white. Draw a little square. Maybe lay. Lay the brush on there, grab a little more titanium white. Might be able to use the palette knife to do this. I'm just using the liner brush. Grab a little more white. Just looking at the shape, make sure it's it looks pleasing to. To the eye, to your eye. Only person you have to please is yourself. Okay. 
not worried about getting down here in the green right now. I'm just, we'll fix that. We will fix that. Just worried about what's going on in the, uh, in this barn area. Okay, let's wipe off that liner brush and stick with the white. Just, I'm gonna do an outline of a door, like a front door. That's what we're gonna do is put a front door in here. All right, so I've got the outline. Oh, needs to be higher on that side. Trying to keep my lines consistent. So the bottom of this barn or house goes that way. Every little doorway or or garage door needs to go the same direction. Let me use Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. A little detail work, taking a little bit longer, but that's all right. You guys aren't going anywhere, are you? Good, stick around. I think this will turn out pretty good. Let's grab a little of the midnight black and let's come right in the center of this door. Darken this door up. Just darken this door up a little bit. bit of shadow on this big barn door. Darken that up. And wipe that brush off. Let's, in fact, I'm gonna wash it real quick. All right, give it a wipe. Come into the titanium white. Make a little X across your big door. Grab a little more white. Just gonna try not to get my hands in the paint here. Lay it on there. Okay. All right. There we go. that off. I don't want red on that. I just want regular white. We could use liquid white for this. I'm going in the titanium white. Just going to add a little bit of uh,
little detail on the top of this roof. Lightening it up just a little bit. Maybe where the sun's hitting. The lighter this this uh, this whole farmhouse or barn, whatever whatever it is we're calling it, um, the lighter it is, the farther away it looks. Um, the closer something is, the darker it gets. We're going to say this is kind of back there uh, a little ways, um, so that's why we're we're lightening up a lot of it. Okay. Let's see, do we want to, you know what? I think I'm going to do something with this window. I'm not liking the, the exact shape of it. In fact, let's wipe off that liner brush. I'm going to change the shape just a hair. take some of this paint off. Now I'm going to go into Midnight Black and I'm going to fill in the center of this window. It would probably be dark up here if you're looking from a distance and we can't see in there and that window is open it would be dark in there so we're, we're gonna say that it's dark add a little couple things here darken this side up just a little bit All right, I think I'm about done messing with this thing. Now, let's go back to that flat brush, a small flat brush. Give it a wash. Let's see here. I think. I think we're going to grab some of this yellow ochre. Let's come out here underneath this white over here. Yellow ochre. Let's grab a whole bunch. And a whole bunch of white. Whole bunch of white. Okay. Let's... Uh, Let's come right over here by this door. A little more white. Really brighten this up. Let's make a little road here for the, the tractor or whatever goes in this door. He can come out. He's got some place to drive on. Bring it out through here. All right. Just going back into that yellow ochre and white mix. And you know what? It's mixing with the green on the, on the canvas. It's all right. We're getting some Color variations here. I'm liking it.
We're experimenting as we go. I've never done this painting. Um, I'm not even looking at the reference, the reference picture anymore. It does have a barn in it. It doesn't look anything like this. It's got a hill, but it doesn't have any of this. There's no driveway or road. This is all me. I'm just, I'm like, you know what? I'll just do what I feel like doing. I'll just do what I feel like doing. Okay. We might change, might change some of this here. Okay. Going in straight titanium white. I'm gonna lighten this up just a little bit. You could use a palette knife uh, if you wanted on this. And what I mean is grab our palette knife. I'm using the uh, titanium white, which Mine's pretty dirty. It's got all kinds of different colors in it, but just grab a little titanium white, come up here and just kind of touch and pull, touch and pull. Clean it off. Clean it off on the canvas. Now, I'm not sure I like that effect. So what I could do is just blend that out a bit. Grab my, my brush that I was using. And just blend a little bit of this. Okay. I'm gonna stick with this brush. Oh, there's a little blue in it. Adding this on pretty thick. Our road, if the road is, this driveway is coming from the this barn and coming out, it's gonna get wider as it comes towards us, right? So let's just add some of this color. Let's go back to the big, uh, big fan brush. Might need to mix up some more of this. Yellow ochre, titanium white. And it's got some other colors in it. And we're just going to bring this road right out here. Maybe over to there. All right. I need some more titanium white. I'll be right back. I've changed my mind again. <laughs> Instead of our road coming through here, and out towards us, I'm gonna take the road off the side. So, I've told you guys, if you've been listening, you can change your painting anytime you want. There's, there's nobody telling you you can't. And this is one of those cases. I, the more I look at it, the more I wanna, I, I, I'm seeing something different. So, you have that option to do that. Let's grab some of this yellow ochre and we're going to come right through these. Uh, I, these are some dark bushes I put on with midnight black. I'm not worried about that right now. We're just going to come up here and take our road, our driveway, right on out over this side. 
and it should get smaller as it gets farther away. Okay, grab our liner brush. Come into a little tiny midnight black and I'm gonna follow this road back here and on the top or the back side of this road farthest away from us I'm gonna put a little bit of black just to define it just to define it Okay, and right here, I'll flip up on it, give, add a little, little bit of bushes and stuff like that that's next to the road. Blend a little bit of this. We don't know where the road goes. We know it goes off the off the canvas here. Some of this is a little too white. So I'm going to add this yellow ochre color to give our road some color. I want it to have that that lightness of the white, but I also want it to have a little of the color. Okay, how's that looking? So, since we took our road, our little driveway, and instead of going out this way, we're, we're taking it off that way. Let's add some, some trees and foliage uh, back here. And you know what? We can use the liner brush. We don't need to switch. Let's grab a green color. So I've got kind of a medium green mixed up here. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of paint thinner. Mineral spirits. A little more black. Okay. And uh, just add in some foliage, some bushes right here, or a tree. And maybe it comes in front of the barn. Maybe this tree's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger tree. Comes down into the yard. Right there. And there's another smaller one back here. Couple of them. Something going on there. And some stuff going on here. And tree right here.
I'm going to define this little hill right back here. I'll grab the green. That's a little too black. Just add a little green into it. Just makes this look, you can see the difference between this hill and this stuff that's going on way back here. Kind of separates, gives us another, oh, just hit my canvas. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't do that at home. Don't beat your canvas up. But adding just a little dark at the top of this hill separates it from this one behind. Um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of where we can, I can show you. All right, right here. So we've got a light green. Then we've got kind of this green that's got a little bit of black in it, but they're almost blending together. So let's grab a little midnight black. We're going to separate these right now. And right underneath this tree line. And then we just take and we squiggle back and forth. We don't want that black to be super dark, but we want it to show there's a difference between between the two hills. See what I'm saying? Right underneath this tree. Maybe it's a little darker. Maybe that's a little darker. Gives you something to look at. Your eye has something to look at. Now you can see this big hill comes down here, but there's a lighter green hill behind that. And then way back here in the distance, these hills just kind of disappear. That's what I was talking about earlier was one of the things I wanted to do with this painting was to show you depth, getting things farther back. Okay, we're almost done, I think. I know I've, I've, uh, bored you guys long enough with my ramblings uh -huh. but i think we we're gonna do we're gonna do something with this here in the front and be done so what are we gonna do let's grab the big fan brush let's come into some dark we're using sap green little bit of brown, which I haven't even gotten into really yet at all, the brown. And, let's, and some midnight black. Let's darken this up. Sap green, little brown. Might need to add some more. Midnight black on my palette. I'm just going to cover this whole thing and cover up what used to be our our driveway when we moved it. This is no longer the driveway. Nope. Don't like it. Got to change it. Got to change it. You guys decide what you want to do in your painting. I just just wanted to change. Okay. Let's add some Prussian blue right in here. Down at the bottom. Nice dark color. Nice dark color. A little more Prussian blue. Oh boy. I told you Prussian blue on a few other episodes. I said it's very strong blue, very dark blue. And we've got the green on the canvas. So now we're getting a blue green. Nice variation of colors. Lots of different stuff going on.
and stand back. Okay, add a little more blue right here across the center. Okay, now let's go back to a fan brush. Which one was I? I guess this one will work. Let's go into this midnight black. We're gonna fix this little bush line that, that we started. Uh, just come along here and redraw. Just make it a little darker. Just add in some shapes using the this midnight black, which I'm almost out of here. Let's see if I can get through this without, without having to break the tube open. And if we do, we do. You know what? Grab the paint you need. There's just bushes and stuff going on here. Don't know exactly what it all is. Okay, I think we are going to come into, I'm gonna grab my palette knife, let's mix up a color here. Grab some of this sap green, bring it out. What's left of the midnight black, maybe a little Prussian blue. Move my thumb. We want a dark green, really dark green. Okay, I'm leaving it a little marbled. It's not completely mixed up. Got a little variation of colors in there. And dip that fan brush in. Everything we put on with the black, we're just going to add a little color to that. So we're just going to dab and touch and add a little color. Not everywhere, just here and there. But we're keeping these bushes dark. Keeping the bushes dark. Just here and there. Grab some more of this dark green. And touching and dabbing, dabbing and touching. Now and then you could lift up if you wanted, although this paint's a little thick. Okay, and we're gonna make this water down here, so let's add some of that color right down into the water. So if I've got a little taller bush, I come down in the water, make that go down just a little farther. Kind of recreating what we're doing at the top, down into the water. This painting has changed so much since I started, but I, I'm liking the way it's going. We're almost done. Just time. 
Okay, let's see what we've got. Let's grab a dry two inch brush. Let's come up here underneath, right here at the water's edge. Grab that and pull straight down. Very lightly, pulling straight down. And flip it over and just a whisper come straight across. Just a whisper. All right, grab our palette knife and dry it off or wipe it off. Make sure it's uh, it's clean. I'm going to dip into a little bit of liquid white. Just touch. Right here at the water's edge. Just make a little water line. Scrape it in back and forth. If you've got enough liquid white on your palette knife, it will come off. I'll just put a couple, a couple of water lines out here. Stand back. Grab the titanium white. Get some of that on, on my palette knife. So some of these we can make a little, little wider, a little more shoreline here. All right. I like it. I like it. Is there anything else you guys see? And I know uh, uh, Leon, is that Leon Da Silva? I think so. I've got my paper somewhere. Uh, asked about doing some cabins. Um, I'm guessing kind of like the Bob Ross cabins. Leon, I know this isn't a cabin, but we just did a little, little farmhouse. And that if there's anything else you guys think we need, you know what we could do, uh, if it doesn't take too long, um, we'll try to do this quickly. Let's... Let's grab a liner brush. Let's come into, let's just go into this uh, dark sienna. Let's come up here. And put a little fence line over here on the other side of the road. I don't think we've done a little fence line. Maybe maybe we have on another episode, but I don't remember doing a little fence line. And we're not making them very big, the posts. It's kind of a little, you know, farther away.
And if I'm in the way, I'm sorry. All right. Now, let's grab our palette knife. Let's grab a little of that dark sienna. Come up here and just touch. Need to get it right out on the edge. Okay. Let's try this. Just touching between the two, between the fence posts. Don't know if it's, this is a split rail or if it's a wire fence, I don't know. Nobody needs to know actually, we're just doing it. There we go. The fence goes off there somewhere. Okay. Now, underneath this fence, there might be a little bit of shadow. So let's grab our liner brush. Grab some of that. Actually, I don't, very little of this uh, dark sienna. Might be a little shadow underneath these posts. So I'm just doing a, kind of reinforcing what, what we did, redrawing this, uh, remember we used the uh, midnight black underneath? I'm just using a little of the brown. Maybe some of these fence posts didn't come down quite far enough. Just drawing those down a little farther. And grab a little more dark Santa and just darkening up underneath this fence. So you don't have to do this everywhere it's, uh, along the entire fence line. We're just adding a little shadow in a little dark underneath some of these. Very nice, very nice. Be a little dark right over in here. I'm just standing back and looking I like it, like it, like it. I think we're gonna put, uh, you know, we're gonna put a little highlight on some of these trees. So this light greenish yellowy color that we had mixed up, let's grab a little of that with the liner brush. And let's just highlight a little, I'm thinking the sun's coming this way. Let's, let's highlight this left-hand side of the the trees that we put. We're just going to dab and dot some of these leaves that we put up on this tree, just on the left hand side. Just the indication. Kind of, kind of see that. Same with this one. Not covering the entire tree with highlights. I'm going to leave some some of the dark areas. Just gonna to touch and 
just on half the tree. Maybe straight cadmium yellow. A little bit of paint thinner. Touch and tap on this one here. A little bit of highlight. A little bit of highlight on this one. Gives us a little more, a little more color going on. Something happening. Okay. And then these here, we can touch just a couple of them. Just hit a couple of these. Skip a couple. Don't have to do every bush. Okay, grab some more. Again, I'm just using my liner brush and just touching dabbing. touch and pull off and just touch it again and you get all kinds of cool things happening or just adding some highlight to some of these not everyone just some of them Ooh. oh I can't resist let's grab some red let's come over into the blue grab some white red blue white purple let's just Add a little bit of purple flowers to some of these. Let's just do some purple flowers. Maybe a little more white so it shows up. A little more white into that purple. Oh, I like that. Like that. And I don't know if that's showing up. Hopefully it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it looks like little purple flowers here and there. Little purple flowers. I think with that, I think I'm going to set my paint palette down. I like it. I don't know if you guys like this, and it and it took us a while to get here. And and uh, sorry, I ramble sometimes. The brain's always, you know, thinking and. And that started with a, a reference photo, and I looked at that for the first five minutes, and I was like, okay, I'm done looking at that. I don't want to do what's in the photo. I'm going to do my own thing. And uh, I like the way this turned out. I hope you guys did too. Let's come down here and sign it. What do I have? Purple on here. Let's grab a little of the white so it shows up. Okay. Down here in the corner. Grab a 
four. There we go. Okay, we have a signed painting. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you on the next episode. Please come back. Bye-bye.